I'm not really qualified to speak on like these humanoid cryptid things, but like we have Khoisan in Southern Africa, right? The small Bushman. Mm -hmm. You know, in Borneo, Sumatra, and places like this, there are still very isolated groups of tribal people, you know, and sure, they're talking about proportions of small people and all of that, but what's stopping a teenager? Doesn't matter. I don't care what tribe you're from. If you're a teenager, you're going out there and you're being rebellious, right? Right from going out with a spear to go on a hunt and deciding to continue going and then he crosses a road, you know, and now it's become a, a Bigfoot a, or an Pendek or whatever because mm -hmm. he gets startled. Maybe he's doing something illegal or wrong or whatever and runs. Somebody catches it on their helmet right. cam and now it's perpetuating into this big thing. Or they see it in low light. Or they see it at dawn. Right. Yeah, if you uh, think about that, um, that uh, island of Flores, though, that's where things get interesting. Like Mi they, Mia Flores, right? You, well, the Homo floresiensis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you say it? Uh, I'm not sure. Flori, <laughs> I think it's Homo floresiensis. Yeah, I'm not sure. Floresiensis. Um, but that's the, the little hobbit person that they've mm -hmm. confirmed lived alongside people as recently as, I, for, I forget how long ago. It's like 8,000 or 10,000 years ago or something, something like that. F they think it was fairly recent. Like yeah. Within, you know, within like after the Ice Age. Yeah. Which yeah. is pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, and there are, across the human species, there are so many diverse-looking cultures and tribes and mm -hmm. peoples, right? We're all yeah. humans, but, you know, Aboriginal people, African people, Indonesian people, Asian people, we all look different, you know, yeah. and we all have these own distinct characteristics. And so to think about, you know, imagine being a Westerner or, or whatever, being an Indonesian, like in that video, and then you see someone who looks so different than your own culture— and you're not expectant of it, it's very easy yeah. to let your imagination turn into this whole other species, this cryptic thing, versus, like, maybe this is someone from a different tribe who's in a different area. I mean, mm. I don't know. I'm just saying it's... it's. And then there's also, they keep finding new extinct species of humans, right? Like Denisovans. Yeah. Yep. And all, I think there was another one that they found recently that they're trying to figure out what it is. But they're very human-like in right. terms of Homo sapien-like, right. but a slightly different branch of the chain. Yeah, with different like jaw morphologies yeah. or cranium shapes yeah. or, or whatever. And yeah, I, I think we used to, up until 15, 20 years ago, only think that there was like two or three species of humanoid ever. Right. Right. And now there's like, I want to say eight. Yeah. Which is pretty crazy. Well, that leads me to Bigfoot. Because I think that all these stories of Bigfoot, I think like that Native Americans have a, a bunch of different names for some creature that lives, mm -hmm. uh, some large hairy creature. Um, and we know about Gigantopithecus. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's what that is. I think people just have a distant memory of it. Like a remnant memory mm -hmm. that's evolved over time. Yeah. 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 Which is probably the same thing as dragons. And I know we talked about that We talked that about that, yeah. yeah. Well, and also, by the way, it could be the same thing as thylacine, going back mm -hmm. to that, right? Like, yeah. they could have been in PNG, where these tribes are still talking about them 4,000 right. years ago, and this lore of the striped dog that sounds weird, that has this funny jaw has been passed down generation to generation to the point where somebody's out on a hunt or a walk and they see a flash and they go, oh, that was that striped right. dog my grandfather told me about. Yeah. Now it's real. I right? saw a squirrel once in Alberta and for a full second I thought it was a wolf. <laughs> Is it, please tell me how that happened. <laughs> I was looking for wolves. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was looking for it to be a wolf. I definitely saw a wolf once. Yeah. And it was pretty cool. It was either a wolf or a large coyote, but I'm pretty sure it was a wolf. In Alberta? Yeah. Because cool. it, it, it was at dusk and it ran across the road and I was with Cam Haynes and we both noticed it. Mm -hmm. And it, it looked like a wolf. Just too big and stocky. Yeah. And, and it, yeah. But it was, you know, distant getting dark, yeah, hard to tell, but they're up there. There's For a shit sure. ton of them. For and sure. They, I mean, they have tons of trail cameras of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they see them there all the time. But yeah. I saw this thing run across this, uh, this, this, like, down tree, and for it was the tail of this squirrel and for the for like a full second yeah i was like oh my god is that a wolf fur <laughs> that's a fucking squirrel god you're dumb that was like the, <laughs> that was how it played out in my mind but you had already made it to be a wolf in of your course. head and if you hadn't seen the rest sure. of the squirrel you had always seen oh, a wolf yeah i saw yeah. a wolf bro yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> which is what i think people do with black bears that stand up on hind legs mm -hmm. and they see bigfoot 
Black Panthers. You see a house cat run across the road out sure. in the woods, yeah. and it's black, and the perspective, you don't have any scale, mm-hmm. and you go, I saw a Black Panther. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, the you know the, the wolf thing is interesting because it's like, you know, they're, they're reintroducing wolves in different parts of America, and now they're, they're trying to do it to Colorado. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I hope you guys know what you're doing. Because you, this idea that you're going to be able to control their populations once you reintroduce right. them, you're not going to. You're not right. even going to find them. Right. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you know, like we've seen a wolf pack. I'm blanking on the name of it now, but it's moved all the way down from Washington through Oregon. Now it's all the way to Central California. Mm. Right. San Luis Obispo County, Central California. Has really? Had, I don't think they're resident, but they've dipped in because we have tracking collars on them. Right. Wow. So they've come all the way from Washington, all the way through Oregon. San Luis Obispo. Isn't that wild? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, They're amazing. Incredible. And they are helpful to the environment. You know, they do fill a role sure. and they, they outcompete the coyotes and, you know, their population's insane. They'll also kill your kids. They'll also kill your kids. Yeah. <laughs> they can. I mean, they, yeah. they are fucking predators and yeah. they don't have any rules. Like, we are so goofy and naive when it comes to the idea of predators. It's we true. think, like, well, we have an agreement, a spoken <laughs> agreement with the people of the forest. <laughs> Living beings of the forest, I am your friend. I used to um, live in Boulder, Colorado, and there's this lady I knew who's a yoga instructor. That, and, that uh, says a lot. <laughs> I told her she was the best. I told her that I saw a mountain lion. She goes, "Well, when I go into the woods, I literally say a prayer and I let the the creatures of the woods know I know them and I I offer no harm. I am there only." To just peacefully walk amongst them. Yeah. I am not a threat. Oh, well, you shut the fuck up. Yeah, go, <laughs> go for a walk through the African bush for one night and see how well that does. Like, yeah. What are you talking about, lady? <laughs> you zig when you could have zagged and you run into a bear and you're fucking dead. 100%. Shut up. Just yeah, shut 100%. up. They eat, they eat yoga instructors too. <laughs> like this idea that you're going to like, I send out a message of peace. It, it, we've, we've become so... Uh, jaded in the sense of like nature is in harmony and balance that's like this this western idea of like everything so harmonious in nature it's terrifying it's the opposite you know it's It's, it's such a dumb perspective it is it's so misinformed it's just based on idealistic perspectives it's uh, based on you know this idea of a utopia that exists in the woods it's just not it's tooth fang and claw correct it's fucking chaos it's also based on disconnect in my opinion. Yes. If you've spent time in the wild, yes. if you've spent time, I don't care if you're fishing, hunting, hiking, camping, whatever, but like somewhere that is really raw, you're yeah. like, holy shit, no, that's not, it's not, you know, all Shangri-La out here. Like no. it is eat or not be eaten. All. Yeah. Yeah, not at all. 